friend. You look like you've been to oblivion and back. What matter of trial did you face? By my honor, that's good to hear. With Rakujin slain and the mask in our possession, we're much closer to victory. And it's all because of your efforts. Here, take this. With his dragon priest defeated and his plans foiled, Lotvalon is more vulnerable than ever before. Sep scales. Why would he challenge Lotvalon on his own? Journey to Senchal and speak with General Rendus. I don't expect. Our task is in Dunia. No yet, need to travel to Senchal. Let us discuss our dragon next step. God. General Rendus. I owe all of you an apology. I thought I acted for the good of Senchal. There is blood on my hands. If you'll have us, the shields of Senchal will fight alongside the Dragon Guard. We've always been on the same side. I'm glad you finally realized that. You can thank my daughter for all this. She can be quite persuasive when she wants to be. Yes, those particular dragons aren't very subtle. There's been an abundance of sightings. The latest reports indicate they were heading north of Senshal in the company. Not yet. I have a contingent of soldiers stationed at the West Century Tower, just northwest of Senshal. They can I'll work with Captain Sai Sahan to formulate a plan of attack. To be honest, I've been mulling over this alliance since you first entered my office. But I was certain that if I left Senshal defenseless, it would fall to ruin, just like Cyrodiil. When I left Cyrodiil all those years ago, the unimaginable happened. My emperor was killed, and Daedra attacked. And I... We face the darkness of fear to find the light of courage. That's some... I can't believe it. We actually fought a living, breathing dragon. Nathala was lucky we made it here so fast. He was surrounded by at least five other dragons, but they scattered after we took this one down. I'm not sure. He fights with the fury of a wounded Sench, but that could simply be his way. Still, despite his confidence, not even Nathalar can stand against such numbers for long. Nathalar and his enemies flew out of sight, but the tower... Walker, a dragon, Zaji, killed an actual dragon! Ah! Not since he flew by. To be honest, things weren't looking good for our scaly friend. And then Zaji lost sight of them. They're fast and loud. This one can't help but wince every time they shout. Is that really just him? Wait, looks like they're coming back around.
like they're headed straight to Doomstone Keep. Huh. What could they want with that old ruin? Sai Sahan will want to know about this. We'll report in while you go after Nafala. I know a hunt when I see one, Walker. Find Nafalar before they overwhelm him. Above the ruins. Oh, battle ends here, brother. Nethalar has fallen. We need to get into that keep. What are we going to do now? Without reinforcements, we have no way to take the keep. Damn that dragon's pride. If Nephilar had only broken off and regrouped with us, General Renmes would lead a secondary team to keep the cultists occupied. The cult is gathering around Latvalon, most likely to empower him using their Aeon Stones. This is it, my friend. Our chance. Have no fear. Zaji, the Dragon Slayer, has arrived. We are never going to hear the end of this. Stay sharp. We don't know what might lurk in these caverns. That looks like Nephilar, down below. Let's see if we can find a way to get to him. Hold a moment. There's some kind of message written on that tablet. Rather roundabout way, it seems like this tablet is telling us how to move forward. It seems there's more to Doomstone Keep than first meets the eye. Yes, the Black Beast. One of the Dragon Guard's greatest foes. A dragon of mighty power. Which would indicate that this inscription was written by the Dragon Guard. But what were they doing here? The Dragon Guard and the pride of Alkash. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to find Nephilar, first and foremost. Thank you. 
Kozlov had guessed the Dragon Guard. Looks like the Shiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps she was a member of the Pride of Elnash. warrior from before. She claimed the mask of Alkosh, just as you did. Wait, could she possibly be Jadari? Dari is offering him the Mask of Alkosh, but he's refusing her. It seems to symbolize something, though I'm not sure what. Stand now. The Black Beast is Lutvalon. The Dragon Guard sealed him away, though it cost Jadari her life. And Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. Jadari joined the Dragon Guard to take down a fearsome dragon. The Pride of Alkosh called him the Demon from the East, while the Dragon Guard named him the Black Beast. Precisely. She must have needed the mask's power to defeat Latvalon. Jadari? And then the final battle. Jadari fell, but the Dragon Guard was still able to trap Latvalon. What I'm interested in is how Jadari was able to use the mask of Alkosh against Latvalon. She asked me to empower the Mask of Alkosh, so that it takes two wills to awaken the Mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the Mask's power. The other must be one of my kind, a dragon. Fenjunti. 
The will of my father, the Dragon King of Time. All Dove seek dominion, and so it is a king's command that is our bane. I will join with you and empower the Mask. You are a worthy ally, and a champion of my father's will. Apologies never did suit you, Nafalar. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rapajin. It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know. To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain. Sap Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulon, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. Latvulon is the torment of chaos. A shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for another. Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You must raise the mask of Alkosh before him. Do not think. Feel. Cast doubt. Go before him, dragon god. It should only take a few minutes. Dragon King above, Bomahu Hanzu. This mortal is worthy. Wavokri Krenti. They shall mend your threads. The mask awakens. Go now. Harness the might of Alkosh to overcome the demon from the east. As it was always meant to be. Our strength is now one, Akatus. Let us finish this. Reach the surface this way. Let's move out. Cultists use the Aeon Stone to empower luck. We must hurry! Ha! The time has come, Akatus! Please! This is the power of this master. With the might of Alka! Come! We'll stop the cult from calling in reinforcements for luck for long. Enforcement for Lot for Lot.
my brothers and sisters, lend me your aid! The time has come, Lord Vulon. Our battle shall end here. We must aid Napoleon. Dragonlord, me!
shall ensure that nothing remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon Guard. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lotvalon's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plague this land until the day that plague ends. And for all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. did it. Senshal is finally safe from Lothulon and the Order of the New Moon. There are other dragons to contend with, of course, but we'll I've actually been thinking a lot about that. Our Order. I honestly wonder if it will last. A little. But mostly the thought makes me... sad. I know, I know. There's no shortage of work. I'm just being silly is all. What is the New Moon that the cult worshipped? How did Lothulon plan to rule over Tamriel? Excellent fighting out there, Dragon God. Of course, your work isn't done. There remain plenty of dragons for your order to slay. We'll continue to protect Zenshal and its citizens, of course. Try our best to keep order. But I do have plans beyond that. One day, the shields of Senshal will protect all of Pelotine. No as much as I would like to keep my daughter by my side, I don't think that would be wise. She's grown so much during her time with the Dragon God. Her Saji knew we could do it. There was never a doubt in his mind. After all, ah, uh, well... <laughs> Zaji will admit there was one or two moments of doubt, but they passed by very quickly. He had at the danger of sounding boorish. Zaji just wanted to thank you for all that you've done. When this one left Black Heights, 
was to seek adventure and glory, and so he bought a fine vessel and assembled a gallant crew. However, however, adventure and glory is a bit hard to seek out. The point is that Sai Sahan was right to doubt Zachi and his crew. We were smugglers, not heroes. And now the Moon Singers will tell stories of us for generations to come. Congratulations on the win, Mask Bearer. Just not dead, which is better than I expected. It all worked out though, didn't it? Alien. I'm a simple Centrat Walker. There was an enemy, and I killed it. What greater satisfaction is there? And all for their own protection. They were too afraid to fight the dragons that terrorized their land, and so they joined with forces that they did not understand. But there's still dragons in elsewhere. Cruel, terrible dragons who want nothing more than to kill and destroy and conquer. And I won't let them. As they Just the warrior I wanted. At long last, we defeated the Black Beast. Today we finished a battle the Dragon Guard began centuries ago. A fitting start to our own order, I must say. Brooding as usual. Nephilim may have pulled through as our ally, but he's still not one for socializing with mere mortals. If the subject comes up, let Nephilim know that he's welcome to recover in our sector. Far more confident of our Dragon Guard, I must admit. Ah, yes. Young Alia. How could I forget? Captain! Yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? And now I have another chance to make things right. Out of the Empire, perhaps. But here in a land that has a great need for a Dragon Guard to watch over it. And I expect your help as well, my friend. As always. Excellent battle, Akatus. Your might helped seal Lot Vulan's fate. He shall never challenge me again. Indeed, and our foes seem to thwart us at every turn. Lot Though it was no easy task to do so, the halls of the High Main presents challenges that few dare to face. Yet you conquered them all, and proved worthy of al Kash's divine power. You have certainly proved yourself worthy of the Mask of al Kash. Just do not expect it to ensure all your victories. Its power was only awakened through our connection. With my departure, it shall be but a mask. Not yet. We defeated Lot Vulan, but I sense another power lurking in elsewhere. Something dark that threatens to disrupt my father's order. When the time comes for you to face it, I shall aid you. I give you my word. And keep the mask. <laughs> it suits you. Just in time, Abner Tharn. According to his letter, the two of you worked together after the plane mail debacle. 
He even praised you. He didn't elaborate on either subject, just mentioned a threat to Southern Elsewhere. Between Tharn's cryptic letter and Nafalar's strange mood, I'm feeling out of sorts. I appreciate you dealing with Nafalar. The dragon senses my unease over Tharn's letter, which only makes his own anxiety more pronounced. Abner Tharn is conceited, opinionated, condescending, and a pain in my arse. And those are his good qualities. <laughs>